Hi everyone, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. Today we are going to do the analysis of an overhanging beam with UVL that is uniformly varying load and coupled in ANSYS mechanical APDL. Before starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get all the updates from my channel. If you have any doubt, query or any available suggestions or comments you may mention in the comment section i will reply the doubt or query as quickly as possible so let's start without any delay first of all open ansys mechanical apdl click on preferences click on structural click ok now go to preprocessor click on element type click on add edit delete click on add select beam then two node 188 at safe function now click ok close this minimize element type go to material property click on material models click on structural click on linear click on elastic click on isotropic and give the value of function modulus as 2e5 and poisson's ratio as 0.3 now click ok now close this minimize material property click on solutions click on beam click on common sections and give the value of B as 250 mm and H as 500 mm. Now click preview to preview the cross section of the beam. Click OK and right click the mouse button and then replot it to hide the section. Now minimize section, go to modeling, click on create, click on key point, click on inactive CS. If all boxes are empty and if we click apply, it will create the first point that is origin with respect to this first point i am going to plot all the other points so the second point is 2000 mm in x axis click apply third is 3000 mm click apply fourth is 9000 mm click apply fifth is 10000 mm click apply and the last one is 12,000 mm now click ok thus we have created all the required key point now we are going to join this key point with the help of lines so minimize key point click on lines click on lines click on straight line click here and here to join first second here and here to join second third here and here to join third or fourth and here and here to four five and here and here to five six now click ok now minimize modeling go to meshing click on size control sorry close this click on size control click on manual size click on global click on size and give the value here as 10 mm because we are going to give the element age length as 10 mm now click ok minimize size control go to mesh click on lines and then brought this up and pick all to mesh the all lines now minimize meshing go to plot and replot the lines okay now you can zoom in or zoom out so i'm going to zoom in some now we have to apply the hinge support and rolling support for that click on loads click on define load click on apply click on a structural click on displacement and then click on key point now carefully select the second point where you have to apply the hinge support click apply select ux ui uz and rotational x and rotational y and we are not going to select rotational z since the rotation in z axis is permitted in hinge support now click ok now again click on key point and select the last point and then click apply and select only ui because for rolling support uh, there is a restriction in y direction now click ok now we have to apply the force or moment for that click on force moment click on key point now select the first point and then click apply and go here in this box select fy and give the value of force the force in downward direction so with negative sign 30,000 newton now click apply now we have to select the second last point and then click apply 
and go here and select mz since we have to apply the moment in with respect to z axis and now give the value of moment and the moment is anti clockwise so it will be positive and the value is 40 e6 now click ok thus we have applied the force and moment now we have to apply the uh, uvl for that you have to write this syntax and then copy it from here and go to ansys mechanical apd and click here and paste it and now press enter so you can clearly see that from this point to this point uvl is applied and now again go to plot and replot the element so you can clearly see the variation of uvl now all low is applied we have to solve so click on solution click on solve click on current ls and now click ok thus our solution is done so close this i close this minimize solution go to general post procedure now we have to create element table for sft and bmd for that click on element table click on define table click on add go to this box and select last option and type here three click apply similarly again go to this box select last option type here six click apply again go to this column select last option type here 16 now click apply again go to this column select last option type here 19 and then click ok thus we have created four levels in which combination of 3 and 16 will give the bmd and combination of 6 and 19 will give the sft now close this minimize element table go to plot result click on deform shape select deform plus and deform now click ok so this is the deformation of a beam under the given loading condition now uh, click on counter plot click on knowledge solution and now click on dof now click on displacement vector sum to see the displacement diagram now click ok so this is the displacement of the beam and the minimum displacement is at this point and the maximum is at this point and the corresponding value of minimum and the maximum minimum is this and the value of maximum is this in mm now if we are if you want to see the stress again click on order solution click on stress bring down the arrow and select one minus stress now click ok so this is the deformation of a beam and the stress distribution and if you want to see the SFD and BMD, for that you will have to click on line element result. In first box, select the SMIS 3. In second box, select the SMIS 16 and then click OK. So this is the BMD diagram. Okay. And now if you want to see the SFD, then again click on this. And now in first box, select second option. And in uh, third box, select last option. Now click OK. So this is the sfd diagram okay now if you want to see the exact value of uh, displacement or reaction or any uh, nodal loads then you will have to go to list result click on reaction solution to see the reaction now click ok so you can clearly see that the node number is 2 and 1002 and the corresponding reaction that is fx fy and fz are given in here and the corresponding moment in xyz are given here now close this if you want to see the nodal load then click on nodal load select all item and then click ok so this is the node number and corresponding force in xyz and the moment in xyz are all given here so close this and if you want to see the displacement now go to nodal solution click on duf solution click on displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding displacement in xyz the maximum value of uh, displacement in given here now close this similarly you can see all the result of various physical parameters or any other parameters under the general post procedure by selecting that particular parameter so thank you for watching please like and share this video as much as you can and subscribe my channel to get all the videos from my channel thank you bye bye have a nice